Welcome back. So this video is a continuation of my last video picking up in Palm Beach. We went down to visit my grandparents for the holidays. So I recorded here and there, but I wanted to make sure I included all the clips. A lot of them still had a lot of memories that I definitely wanted to keep. So these first few clips are basically visiting a bunch of great restaurants that we love to eat at. So I thought I would still include them so I could show you guys some of the great places to eat in West Palm Beach in Palm Beach. But this video starts off at a restaurant called Trevini. This restaurant was actually used to be below the hotel we used to stay at. But now we're visiting since they remodeled. I forgot my camera at home, but we're eating at Trevini. This is one of our favorite places. There's Cam. They actually just moved here. They used to be down the street under our hotel we used to stay at. Um, so this will be our first time coming here since they've moved. So I'm really excited to try. And it looks beautiful. Okay, these are the zucchini fries that are so good. We love having here. This is my sister and I's favorite soup. It's the Statutella alla Ramona. I'm probably saying that wrong, but it's so good. We usually get some to go and to eat here. Okay, our food just came out. Cameron got this rack of lamb. How excited are you? So excited. <laughs> Got some chicken with some yaki. Oh my goodness, so good. And then the next day we went to this place in Palm Beach Gardens called the River House. It was so good. My grandparents recommended this place, so we decided to check it out. All right, we came to Riverside for lunch right on the canal, looks beautiful. We've never been here before. I got the crab it's cakes with french fries and coleslaw. Wait, these french fries are so skinny and they look amazing. I've never seen french fries this skinny. And then I got the prickly pear margarita with salt, of course. Okay, what's cool about this restaurant, it is right near this canal where we've been just watching the boats and yachts go in and out of this canal. It's so beautiful. There are people fishing over there, they caught some fish. But like, look at this thing, oh my gosh. We was docked here for lunch, now it's heading out over the, under the bridge. Oh my goodness, look at this ice cream sundae my grandma just got. And that one goes over there. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is huge. And bread pudding. Later that night, we went to Pistache. Pistache is one of my grandparents' favorite places to eat. Uh, it has this cute little balcony, and actually, fun fact, they even have a dog menu, so if you have a little tiny dog and you ask, they have a small dog menu, and they will give you dog dishes for your pup. Because of COVID, they had extra seating, which was awesome, so we sat in this cute little tent. All right, we made it to Pistache. This is a place we've come before. And then we're sitting outside in these little tents. Oh, babe, look at these cute little tents they have set up. It's right across from uh, this park here that has a water fountain and they have like this light up show with the water fountain. But yeah, we're gonna eat here tonight and um, hang out. I don't know if you can see, but right here there's a giant sand sculpture here of a tree. It's so cool. And they have a few more over there that's a boat, a seagull, and something else. I don't know, but they're really cool. They've seen a bunch of sand sculptures all over today. Look at all the Christmas lights, they're so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's very orange in here, but look at all the cute lights. Can you see? Say hi. Across the street too is a light show which I got some awesome clips of so I decided to include that too.
We just got back from dinner. Oh my gosh, I'm so full. This is what I wore tonight. I feel bad because Amanda forgot her leftovers. But we had this, what do we have? I tried the Banana Foster's bread pudding tonight and it was so good. Me, Valerie, and Amanda shared it and we devoured it. It was so amazing. Anyways, we are gonna hang out for the night. We've been watching this show on Netflix so I think we're gonna settle down, watch a little bit of that and go to bed. And then on our last day, we decided to hang out by the pool and explore around the Breakers property. If you're unfamiliar with my previous videos, the Breakers is a luxury resort that we like to visit and that my grandparents have access to, so we often spend time there. But uh, we decided to explore just the property and walk around one of the places, which was the church, just because it had a beautiful scenery and a uh, koi pond. Good morning Hello. and happy new year, everybody. It is finally 2021 and it is so <laughs> weird to be here during January. I'm like, how is it January? Because we usually only come here during Thanksgiving and for our college breaks, but this year is a little different. Anyways, we are at the pool for a little bit and then we're going over to take a walk really quick, kind of hang out for a little bit. And then me, Amanda, and my boyfriend are go, gonna go up to Tampa to visit some cousins in Florida while we're here already. That was a busy day today, but uh, it's been a few days since I've recorded, since we've just been hanging out with family and everything. But it's gonna be a long day, but a good day. I hope you all have had a good new year and let's get this day started. Taking a little golf Jeannie, cart ride. How are you today? Oh, pilot. We're going, we're going to look at the church grounds. They have these little cute golf carts to tool around my grandmother. <laughs> so we're taking a ride with her. Is she over there? They're there. There's the breakers. Oh, I'm getting splashed by the water pump. This place is gorgeous. Gorgeous. If you guys are over here, you should stay here. Okay, we're just visiting the church grounds that's right near here. It is just a beautiful property to walk around. So we're kind of just exploring. Amy, show me your shirt. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? I love the flamingos. Say hi. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this courtyard. This is where they have service. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. Oh, there's little stairs over there too. Oh, a little water fountain. So this is one of the places they have service. And what's really cool about this is there's a koi pond right here. So cool. There's a little lizard. There's three of them over here, apparently. Right, somebody actually ended up just letting us into this area. Look how beautiful. No, 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 Off. Snicker. No. Come on. What's his name? Snicker. Snicker. <laughs> Hi, little doggy. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, here's the koi pond. Oh, my gosh. That's a chunky one. That's a big one. Oh, my gosh. Look at these koi fish. They're huge. I don't have anything. I'm sorry. Wow. That's a big koi I don't even think you can tell how big they are. Oh, look. They think they're going to be fed. They think they're going to be fed. Like, they're literally the size of my leg or something. They're the biggest koi I've ever Wow. Can I eat it? No. Ew. I don't mm -hmm. think they taste Sorry, good. we don't have any food for you. Okay, so here's the other side. Oh, these ones are littler. I don't know if you can see them in the camera. This is the space that we were trying to look at before. Wow, so beautiful. Can you imagine having service here? She's so cute. Perfect size, so cute. Uh -uh. Oh, absolutely. We're riding back to the pool. I love this area at night because all the lights are lit up, all the palm trees. Thanksgiving dinner. We didn't come for Thanksgiving this year, we came for Christmas this year. Okay, so this is the pool area and what I like about it is it's private and so there's a, a lot less people here than if we were um, at the Breakers itself because it's like a resort and they're really good about, you know, all COVID and everything but it's just nicer to be somewhere that's less populated and quieter. 
and um, they have like a bar and, and everything. So we've been just hanging out, getting drinks, sitting by the pool, and they also have a beach area down there too that we were at yesterday. So it's just nice to have our own little area. There's two hot tubs so we can go in. So it's been really nice to just relax, especially after the semester I've had. My gosh, I haven't had a break in a year, literally since last December, which is crazy. But 2021 is the year I graduate. I'm so excited. So after a relaxing day at the beach, we finally went to the airport, picked up our rental car, which was a mess, but finally got it. We ended up waiting an hour before we got our rental car. Anyways, we got it and hopped in the car. All right, we finally got our rental car. It was craziness. But we got a nice Jeep, holds us in our luggage, that's all we needed. So we're finally headed up to Tampa. It's about a three hour drive. And my cousin is going to pick us up at the airport because we're gonna drop this car off. And then we're gonna surprise all the kiddos. My cousin's a little bit older and then they have four kids. So we're gonna surprise the kids. They kind of know we're coming or they kind of suspect that we're coming. So hopefully we can still surprise them. But I'm super excited just to spend time with the family. So here we go. the next day we decided to go to the beach there's my two cousins I was talking about and then the four kids so there's Maddox and Kensley and then there's Kennedy and Morgan who are the twins we decided to take a girls day at the beach the boys wanted to go fishing so my cousin my boyfriend and Maddox decided to go fishing which they ended up catching a puffer fish and 13 other small fish which is super cool they threw them all back don't worry but uh, we had a great beach trip we got some cute photos that I'll put in here took a beach day. It is a gorgeous day out and it's perfect because it's only like 70 degrees but it's <laughs> 70 degrees and sunny. Uh, we are near the Tampa area visiting our cousin. We've been just hanging out at the beach all day, taking some fun pictures, looking for shells. They have this one area of their house that they uh, collect a bunch of shells on the beach and then they put it under their palm tree in the front yard. We also made a uh, sandcastle. The girls had a couple Barbies that they had, like mermaid Barbies, so we made a little pool for them to swim in. It was super cute. And yeah, we've just been relaxing. Look at the horseshoe crab. Hey, Mom said Mom saw that. He's just hanging out. What shells did you find? And this, and that opens. Wow. And this. There's another one. Look, that might be the dead and all. Maybe. Look at him. Bro. Stop right here. You can see our footprints from earlier. Can you look? Look at the horseshoe crab. <laughs> look, we came to this park. There's little baby alligators. Oh! Oh my gosh! So cool. Oh wow, there. it's that's right there. Gosh, right there. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh my god, so They're everywhere. Wow, that's so cool. Look how beautiful this place is. <laughs> the next day of our trip, we decided to go bowling. Uh, I hadn't, I haven't actually been bowling since COVID and everything, but we actually had almost the entire place to ourselves. It was great because we went on a weekday, so we had base. There was basically nobody there, which was really awesome, and we sanitized like crazy because I'm a germaphobe. But we had a great time.
And then we had such a great time, we ended up going bowling again at a different place. So then after bowling, my cousin Kensley had gymnastics, so Amanda and I went to watch her do gymnastics. It was so cool to see what she was working on and how hard she's been working, so I'm glad that we were able to watch that. Then later on I spent time with the other two girls at the park. We had a blast. His dad actually put up a like rope swing thing for them. What would you like to say? Hey, tell them what happened today. Oh yeah, my tooth came out! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Me. These girls are crazy. Wait, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. It was the only night that it was somewhat warm enough to go swimming. It was like 72 and sunny and to Floridians that's very cold. But it was the only day that's like this week is weird because there's a cold front going on so it's been kind of chilly. So 72 was the warmest so we decided to heat the pool, get in and have some fun and we had a blast. Saturday, Maddox had a soccer game. Both my boyfriend and I play soccer, so I definitely enjoyed going to his soccer game. It was a little bit of a drive, but he did awesome and we're so proud of him. You win, Burn. Good job, Maddox. But I'm just glad that we could make these memories and that I could record them and remember them. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and coming along with us. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!